So welcome to the how to sell $300 website services every day without being an expert. And this process guys works even if you've never worked on a website before. So I made this very simple. If you've never worked on a website before, if you've never ranked a website, if you don't even know how to log into a website, I'm, this is still gonna work for you, okay? This is a uh, result that I got for a client. You can see um, I charged $300 for the first service and $2,200 for the actual follow-up. So I'm not gonna only just show you how to sell the $300 services, but I'm gonna also show you how you can follow up and sell high ticket services on top of it, okay? So here's a result that we got for the client. Um, you can see they are ranking in the maps number one on Google, uh, and they're also ranking uh, organically, is what we call it, here beneath the maps and they're ranking for holistic doctors in Santa Barbara. There's actually a secret hack, I call it like a cheat code that you can use um, that will allow you to rank these businesses without ever having to worry about competition. Uh, Yash says, I thought this was a live webinar. This is a live webinar, welcome, welcome to the live webinar. So here we got 500 contact form submissions and 1,828 uh, website calls and 1,539 Google My Business calls. And so we're not only just ranking these businesses, what we're also doing is we are uh, getting them tons of leads, right? Because that's what the clients care about. They don't care about rankings necessarily. They don't want us to work on their website. They want us, They just want us to bring them more money and more leads. And so this method is not just about ranking on Google or making money and getting ongoing services sold but it's also really just about getting a bunch of leads for a business. So I wanna show you first of all what my first leads looked like when I started. You can see here, it's an empty uh, soccer field or uh, you know soccer game, nobody's watching. And that's kind of how it started when I, when I first uh, began doing this stuff. I was uh, you know, really confused, didn't know what to do, didn't have any clients and I really just, you know, I just wanted to get my first client. And now this is kind of what my leads look like. Uh, and I'm not like, I'm not just like making a bold claim here and saying, yeah, this is what they look like. And that's not actually true. Um, in fact, if you look at my messages over the last 48 hours on a brand new email, uh, you can see I have over 17,000 message replies from all of these different websites. And you might be thinking, how the heck did you do that? I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, and I'm actually going to even show you how you can automate this for any of your businesses. So you'll never have to worry about a lead again. Okay. Now this method uh, that I'm going to be sharing with you, uh, Tommy Selheimer actually followed along with a similar method that I'm going to be showing you here today. And you can see in the last 30 days, he made over $92,000. Uh, and he said, and he says, if you follow Chase Reiner and use his techniques, you will scale our web design SEO firm watches every video. Our SEO and content marketing team watches his video every day. At the end of the day, again, if you follow these methods, uh, they are proven to work. Okay. We have tons and tons of students that are using this, that are, are scaling their agencies, they're getting their first clients, and they're making a ton of money with the methods I'm gonna share with you. All right, so here are my goals for today. And uh, I, you know, again, I don't wanna waste your time. I wanna make this as informational as possible because again, your time is valuable. The first thing we're gonna cover is how to do mini website roadmaps, okay? And actually sell these as services. If you don't know what this is, just stick around, I'll, I'll explain these in more detail. Um, we're gonna also cover the secret strategy to get any website owner to respond to you. And then we're gonna also cover how to make, make a website show up on the first page of Google while getting paid thousands to do it. Does that sound good to you guys? Give me a one in chat if you guys are excited for this. So if you don't know who I am, uh, when I was younger, uh, basically this is how my sort of uh, everything started. I kind of, I lost one of my parents when I was 16. Um, I had a really, tough time. I, you know, I didn't go to school. I dropped out of high school. I dropped out of college and uh, I was just miserable as a teenager. And uh, I wound up actually around about 19 years old. I worked at a sushi restaurant. Uh, again, I had no education. I was uh, really struggling and I even got fired from that sushi restaurant while I was working there. And so that was probably one of the lowest points of my life. What happened is uh, eventually I, I gathered up some money, I saved some money and um, I moved into this tiny garage. Um, while I was there, I started a YouTube channel. I was trying to show people how to, you know, I don't know, set up their Facebook page, just random stuff. I was just trying to make a little bit of money. I had no clients. 
didn't really have a lot of friends at that point. It was kind of just me. You know, eventually what happened is I was able to turn things around. Uh, long story short, again, I don't want to make this all about me, but I was able to turn things around, start speaking at conferences. You can see I make over six figures now with the stuff that I'm going to show you. Um, this is my Stripe account. This is my PayPal account. Now I, you know, get to hang out with my family, go on trips. We just went to Hawaii. Um, we got a little dog here on the, on the left. I get to drive cool cars. Now that's a Mustang that I got about a year ago. And Diane says, one of the only successful marketers I trust is Chase Reiner. He's an SEO pro and whatever he suggests, I listen. He doesn't have a Lambo, which is a good thing with me. But ironically, I did just buy a uh, Corvette, brand new Corvette. I guess it's a good thing that it's not a Lambo. <laughs> just want to share with you, I'm not anyone special. I didn't get handed, you know, a golden ticket. I, I worked really hard and I figured out a way to make money online. And that's again, what I'm trying to show you here today is, you know, everything that I kind of learned um, in about an hour, right? All of the most important things that I learned in order to start making money, start getting clients and to start selling services um, and, uh, and make a full-time income online. So if that sounds good to you, let me know. Give me a yes. If you guys want to hear how to do that, you're in the right place if you've ever struggled to get clients. Um, I know a lot of people, including myself, have struggled to get clients. If you feel like you have to be an expert to make money online, when I first started, I had no idea what I was doing. And I was uh, confused as heck trying to figure out, you know, where do I even start? You know, there's all these different opportunities right now, right? You could do Bitcoin, you could do SEO, you could do websites, you could do NFTs. And so I know how overwhelming it can feel when there's all these different opportunities uh, going on around you. And then, you know, if you have a hard time understanding technical jargon, I try, I try to simplify this stuff as much as possible, right? I want it to be so easy that pretty much anyone can do it. Um, if, you have, if you've never even ranked a website before or even worked on a website, you're still in the right place. If you feel like you've tried everything and if you feel like you lack overall confidence to get clients or sell services, again, you are in the right place. I'm going to show you how to fix all of that today. We see success stories like this all the time. So I have been in a position where I had no help and know how it feels to not make any money or feel like I'm making any progress. And so I want to give back. I want to give you the opportunity that I basically got um, after you know working hours and hours in that garage and eventually finding out something that worked. And I don't want you to have to go through that. I'd rather you guys take the easy way than have to go you know, the route that I went. Do you wanna see some results? I wanna show you guys some results that I've been able to achieve with the methods that I'm gonna share with you today. Are you, are you guys cool seeing some case studies? Here's an iPhone repair shop that I ranked number one on Google. You can see um, it's right here in the maps. It actually took over the maps and um, it's also ranking here organically. So um, that was actually one of the first businesses that I sh got to show up on Google. And, uh, and then I actually wound up selling it to a friend of mine. Uh, this is a roof repair site. So Roof Repair Houston. Um, this was a client that I had and we were able to rank them number one organically on Google for roof repair. This is the doctor. You kind of already saw this in the beginning. This is a web design site that I own and we still get leads to this day. Um, a lot of these I just I just rank just so I can show people how to do it and that it works. Uh, but we don't even really uh, handle that many leads from here. You know, a lot of the leads just die because we don't really need the business. We have so many leads coming in that it's like this is just kind of like a uh, vanity metric at this point. But you can see it completely took over the maps. And I've even been able to work with huge influencers uh, like this guy on YouTube. Uh, his name is Jeremy Ethier. He's got 4 million subscribers. And we were able to rank him for really competitive keywords like full body workout. You can see they took over the knowledge panel for this. And uh, even better, and this is my most proud ranking, I've been able to rank uh, number two for the most handsome uh, guys on TikTok. And obviously I'm here number one with the cat. So if that doesn't prove to you that I know what I'm doing, then I don't know what will. All right. So all jokes aside, um, we want to figure out how much can you get paid? And you might be wondering, you know, is it even possible to make a ton of money when you first start? And that's a good question, right? So the cost of SEO services varies depending on what is included. Most SEO projects in 2022 cost between $750 to $2,000 per month. And a one-time project will reach, uh, range between $5,000 to $30,000. Uh, rates for consultants fall between $80 to $200 per hour. I don't know about you, but when I found out about this and I had no education, I, um, you know, didn't really have any skills. Uh, I, you know, had zero experience when I found out about this, that I could start making 80 to $200 per hour 
or $750 to $2,000 per month for just working on websites, doing simple stuff. That was a huge thing for me, right? So I don't know many other jobs that require zero experience, <laughs> uh, zero credentials that you can just start charging 80 to $200 per hour for and still achieve massive results, right? So this is a huge opportunity I think a lot of people should look at, especially if they really just wanna leave their nine to five or they wanna get started, right? Um, just massive. So Chris here, you can see, uh, landed his first deal of the year a few weeks ago. He, he got $2,500 per month SEO services plus $2,500 uh, for web design. And you can see he used our tools and methods to close the deal and there's a $5,000 payment um, that he got. All right, so now let's actually get into this. I know I'm showing you a lot of results. I don't wanna spend too much time on, on you know, just uh, the results. I wanna actually show you how to actually do this stuff. So we're gonna start with step one, which is how to do mini website roadmaps and sell services. A mini website roadmap is a quick analysis that you run to identify three main issues on a website, okay? And these are very simple, right? Basically, we're gonna be covering website tracking, website speed, and website security. What we're doing is we're basically trying to find three issues on a website, like you can see here, website tracking. Um, you can actually right click on any website and, and click on the view page source thing uh, button. And what will happen is you'll be able to see if a website has tracking on it. And if it doesn't have tracking on the website, then what you can do is you can tell the business owner that they're not tracking their traffic, which is gonna be a huge issue for them because they're not gonna be able to see how they're doing. They're not gonna be able to see how their website's doing. And so all you have to do to do this is you just, uh, there's something that you can do called a control F. You basically just press control F on your computer, type in analytics. And if it says zero out of zero, they don't have Google Analytics on their website. And so they're not tracking their traffic. So they're not gonna know how their website's performing. That's a big problem. Another one is website speed. So you can use tools like this one called GT Metrics that will actually measure how fast a website loads. And if a website loads slowly, well, they're gonna wanna fix that, right? So this website, I just put in a random acupuncturist into this tool, um, and you can see they got a 2.4 second load time, which is pretty bad. Uh, you actually generally want below two seconds. And some people even have four or five second load times. So that means a lot of the people going to their website are just gonna end up leaving. And then another one we can see here is website security, right? So uh, if you see a little pop-up on some websites, it'll say they're not secure, right? It has that little box. And that's gonna deter a lot of their visitors from their website. Okay, so when an issue is found, you basically just take a screenshot. So if I see you know, this issue on a website or I see this issue on a website, maybe it's slow or I see that they don't have any tracking, I'm gonna take a screenshot and I'm gonna send it to them, right? And, our, and my goal here is that I want the business owner to say, oh yeah, that's not good. So if I can get somebody to say, oh wow, that's, that's a problem, then they're gonna need somebody to fix that problem, right? And so if they don't see it, they won't buy it. A lot of, a lot of the time when I was uh, reaching out to business owners in the past, I would try to offer them um, services, right? Ask them if they wanted, you know, an SEO service or a website service, and they didn't really see any problems, right? Otherwise, they'd already be hiring someone. So that's why we do these mini website roadmaps so that we can send them an image of the first thing that they need to fix, right? And when they say, well, how do I get it fixed? Well, we can offer to fix it. And I generally will start out by offering to fix the first thing on their website and actually perform a full website audit for them for 297. And we'll talk about the full website audit in a second, but that's kind of how you can quickly get them interested in buying a service from you, kind of sets the stage for you to upsell into your other services. So now you know how to do a mini website roadmap and get your first sale just by offering a micro service is what I call it. Now, does that step one seem easy enough to you? Does, is that something that you think you can do these mini website roadmaps? Give me a one in chat or a yes in chat if that's something you think that you can do right away. Cool, so that's easy enough, right? And again, these should, the, you shouldn't have to do anything complicated. This should be really easy. Audit sold for 297, followed up with $2,500 for implementations. It's been a good day, Chase Renner SEO. Thank you for the knowledge. So again, this happens all the time. We see success stories like this constantly people out there are crushing it when they use the methods that I'm sharing with you today. So let's go to uh, the second step, which is the secret strategy to get any website owner to respond to you. So it's one thing to do these little mini website roadmaps, right? Um, but how do you actually get people to respond to you? 
So I remember when I first started, I was that little tiny garage. I, I was calling local businesses on Google and I was getting rejected constantly. Okay. So I would call, I'd like Google something like Santa Barbara acupuncture. That's where I'm located. I'd click on all these different listings, give them a call and uh, say, Hey, my name is Chase. Would you like a website roadmap? <laughs> uh, and you can imagine how that went for me, right? People just hung up the phone. And then this was my reaction when I was pretty much ready to quit. I mean, I've, I've tried to quit SEO so many times because I never really figured out a great way to get it to work until one day when I realized something that completely changed the game for me. And what I discovered is that businesses didn't want to get a website roadmap because they had no idea who I was. And more importantly, they had no idea what a website roadmap was. So after a bunch of frustration and, you know, trying and trying and failing and failing, I tried a different approach. And I began sending messages to businesses before I actually found a problem. It's saying that I actually found a problem. So let me show you what I mean. So if I got a response, I would then perform a mini website roadmap. So this is an example. Let me actually give you the full message that I would send. I would say, hi, are you still in business? I found a few errors on your site. Would you like me to send over a free report of those errors? This business responded and said, yes, please. And also how much to fix those errors. So you can see, because I'm not trying to sell them something right off the bat, I'm just saying, hey, I found some errors. Would you like me to send over a report? They're already assuming that I can fix them for them. And I haven't even told them that I do this stuff, right? They're just assuming because I found the issues. So this works really well. And you'll get a very high success rate of people responding to you because you're telling them that you found errors and that you can send them a report which is offering value you know, straight out of the gate and you're not selling them anything, right? You're, you're just giving them free value. Since it started working so well, I started sending out a ton of these messages, right? And look, I started getting a ton of responses. So again, this is an example where um, we have 17,000 responses from different websites just from doing this. And so now we have more leads than we can even deal with. And all we have to do is those mini website roadmaps, right? And, uh, and just sell them on their first service. It's pretty simple. So now that you know the secret to uh, get any website owner to respond to you, I just wanna make sure that this is something that you could see yourself doing. Do you see yourself doing this where you, you, know, you reach out to these different businesses, offer them some value, and then sell them their first service? I mean, it's pretty simple, right? Give me a one or a yes if this is something that you could see yourself doing and making money with. Awesome. Cool. Lots of yeses. Great. So let's go into step three. And this is the last step. And this is the one that's going to basically be where you make all of your money, really. Um, and that's how to make a website show up on the first page of Google while getting paid thousands to do it. This method, uh, people like Jamie, you can see we just got a message from Jamie recently that said, I'm so happy. I just uh, ranked number one in less than 24 hours using Chase's tools and methods, really. And you can see they're ranking number on the first page, number two for uh, SEO agency in Chile. So that's really cool to see. Now, I remember a long time ago when I first started trying to figure out exactly how long it would take to get a website to show up number one on Google. And I could never find a direct answer. Okay. There's Google doesn't want you to know, right? I mean, as much as we want to say Google's our friend, they don't want people gaming the system. They don't want to, like people to know what we know here. It takes a lot of digging to figure this stuff out. But again, I figured out something that a lot of people don't really know about and Google doesn't want you to know about because it just makes the game easy. As you probably may or may not know, Google has over 200 different ranking factors, right? And so I started looking at all of them. I started reading all these different books and, and blogs and following all the experts. And I was doing all this research. And I, my goal was to find the number one thing Google cared about on most websites. And I realized eventually that Google reads the first thing on a website is generally the title of the page. It's kind of like um, when you start reading a book, what's the first thing you read? The cover, right? Or the title? What is the book about? And so Google's the same way. Google looks and sees what is the title of the page that we're supposed to show up on our search engine. And so all I started doing and experimenting with this is that you could see with our web design site, what's the thing we put in our title? Well, the web web design in Santa Barbara, right? For our iPhone repairs uh, site, what is the, what's the thing we put in our title? iPhone repair, Santa Barbara. For our doctor, uh, what did we put? Holistic doctor, Santa Barbara. And all of these websites are ranking number one now, okay? That's really all it is. And you might be thinking, well, Chase, 
how does that work? If, if you're only putting a title on a website, there has to be more, right? There's 200 ranking factors on Google. And here's the truth. This only works if you use a very specific thing that I'm about to share with you. And this is a, this is a cheat code, right? If you learn this cheat code, it just promise me that you guys will use this for good and not for bad. Because once you learn this, this is a very powerful method. And, uh, you know, you can, you can really get a lot of traction with this, but here's the secret hack. There is something on Google called in title. Does anybody know what this is? Basically the way it works, you can see how many websites show up on Google for the title, right? Like I can see, remember how I showed you a second ago, uh, these different titles here, right? Like web design or iPhone repair. If I type in, in title, and then a little colon and then quotes, I can see how many websites have this in their title. And basically, if there's only a few websites with this in their title, you can, you can almost guarantee that you'll rank number one. Let me show you how this works. So if I do in title and I type in Holistic Dr. Santa Barbara, I can see there's four results on Google, okay? And because there's only four results on Google, all I had to do for this website was change the title to Holistic Doctor Santa Barbara. And it's very easy to change a title. If you don't know how, how this works, most websites, when you go into the website settings, you just go and it has a little set, uh, section here that says what, um, change the title. So I just have to put that keyword in the title. And because there's only a few websites that have this in their title, you can see there's only these three videos and this one website. Well, guess what? I'm gonna rank pretty quickly, right? Does that make sense? So just by simply changing the title to what we wanna show up for and, and, and by targeting keywords that nobody else is showing up for, we can show up. And a lot of the time you can find uh, searches or things people are searching for like this, Holistic Doctor Santa Barbara, that has hundreds of searches per month and you can rank for it and, and take all the traffic that nobody else is doing. Isn't that crazy? So now you know the secret cheat code to rank number one on Google nearly instantly just by searching for these titles. Does that seem like something you could do pretty easily? Just looking for the titles to see if, uh, if, people are, you know, if people are optimized for it or not? Awesome. Lots of yeses. Give me some yeses. Cool. If it makes sense to you, great. Awesome. What if I told you though, you could automate this entire process? Would you be interested? Uh, doing all the audits, doing all of the messaging, doing all of the checking, everything. Would you be interested if I could show you how to do that? Okay, lots of yeses. Just give me a yes in chat. Awesome, cool. Are you glad you showed up today? Did you did you get something from this? Just give me a yes if you are glad that you showed up today. Awesome. And does what I said make sense to you? Yes, lots of yeses. Do you think this is something you could easily implement yourself today? Now, last question I'm gonna ask you is, can you see yourself making money with these strategies? You know, sending off messages to websites, uh, doing the audits, selling the services. Give me some yeses if you think that this is something that you could make a lot of money with. Awesome. All right, so I'm gonna show you a tool that I've been building, it's called ShineRanker. And what ShineRanker does is it helps you automate this entire process. Now, Michael here has actually been using ShineRanker. You can see, Michael says, my subjective opinion is as an annual owner, the uh, Shine Ranker was a great addition to our arsenal. You can see he's just super stoked with it, right? Let me show you what an instant mini audit looks like on Shine Ranker. So what you can do is you can actually enter in a website for analysis. You can get the mini audit done for you on every single page on a website, right? So if I enter in a website URL, like let's say I enter in chaserunner.com, Shine Ranker will go and scan the entire website, every single page on it, and it will, uh, it will basically give me a full, uh, not just a mini audit, but it'll give me a full audit of that website, right? So it'll show us the Google Analytics, if there's tracking on the site, it'll show us how, e how fast each of the web uh, pages load, it'll show us if the website has SSL or not, or the security certificates. And so now I can see every single page on a website nearly instantly and uh, perform these audits. And you can see this is what a full audit actually looks like. So this is every single page on the website. And what's even cooler is it will highlight if anything's broken, right? So now this actually automates that entire audit without me having to do any of the manual work. Um, and you can see there's even an export, uh, export button. So I click on the Excel button and it'll actually print out the full report that I can send to business owners as well if I wanted to. Now we also in the tool have something that will allow you to check titles, right? 
So remember how we were manually checking all of the titles? So this uh, right here will let you look up different keywords and it will check all of the titles, thousands of keywords at once and see how difficult these different keywords are based on how many people are competing. So before, instead of me having to, you know, again, manually type this in for each keyword or each search, now it'll give me exact numbers for how many people are competing for this, right? How cool is that? So basically you just type in a keyword, press submit, and then it gives you a list of all the keywords and it gives you how many people are competing for them, right? Not only that, but it'll also show us how many people are searching for these keywords, right? So for instance, for Chinese medicine near me, we have 4,400 searches for that, right? And so if we can find keywords that have high searches and low competition and rank for them, we can make a ton of money selling that as a service to clients. So Jordan here, you can see says, I just want to say a massive thank you to Chase in less than 10 days since I bought Shine Ranker. I've just got my first ever SEO client, which will make me 13 times what Shine Ranker will cost me. So just more results, people using the tools. Now, normally to get a year's access to Shine Ranker, it's about $750. Um, and I know a lot of people have been asking me to lower the price and normally I can't do it, right? But today what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the tool for $297 for the year if you, if you want it. Okay, now again, Steve here, you can see, says, love Shine Ranker. This tool is about to take over keyword tools on the internet. Thank you, Chase. You deliver top quality content for SEO. You might be wondering, well, how the heck do I sound off all those messages, right? Because remember how we have to go and manually go and uh, type in the messages on different people's websites and then hopefully, hopefully we get a response and then we do the mini audits, which we can now automate with Shine Ranker, right? But how do we go and send off thousands of messages? That would take forever. And so what we actually did is we put together something called the Unlimited Leads course. And in this course, what we cover is how to actually automate thousands of messages every single day. We basically have software that we teach that allows you to uh, find websites that have contact us pages and lets you send. You can see this is actually over a million contact forms we sent out in the last 48 hours. Uh, and so we are able to message millions of websites with this method and get more leads than we even know how to handle. And what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna throw this course in here. If you get the Shine Ranker deal, you'll get this for free, which is normally a $497 value. And what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna throw that in. If you put that together with the Shine Ranker annual access, that's that's about $1,247 total. And for today, it's just $297, all right? And so you can see uh, Marcel bought one of our templates and is also using Shine Ranker and is getting a ton of results. Now, I also wanna throw in another bonus for the first 25 people, okay? And the reason why is I can't do this for everybody. This takes a lot of effort. Basically, when I started doing this stuff, I had no idea what I was, what I was doing, right? I wanted to ask questions. I wanted to get help. I didn't know where to go. And that's why I decided to create a special group where people could ask questions and get unlimited support for the um, things that they're doing. So for the websites that they're building, for the SEO. And I actually built a group called the Elites. And so the Elites group is a private Facebook group where you can ask questions and get support from me and a thousand other experts and basically get as much help as you need. You know, normally to run something like this, we charge about $897 per year to uh, have access to a group like this. And what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna throw that in as well. So what you get is you get a year's access to Shine Ranker for $750. You get the SEO and Leads Unlimited course for $497. You get the SEO Elites Unlimited access for $897, which is a total combined value of $2,144. And today you're just gonna get it for $297. But only if you're the first one of the first 25 people because we can't give that to everybody. So you can see here, Kenneth uh, says, thanks for creating this group, Chase. Last year, I finally made consistent monthly profits with affiliate marketing, mostly thanks to your uh, thanks to you for the ideas and inspiration. So uh, just another person that's really benefiting from the tools, the group, all the stuff that we do over here. Now I'm gonna throw in one last bonus for the first 25 people. Basically what I did is I put together a bundle of a lot of the different classes that I've taught over the last couple of years. There's actually over 200 hours of video that covers, you know, how to do um, SEO, how to sell services, how to, you know, beginner to advanced techniques, everything you're going to need to know. Basically a full suite of different courses that are going to just cover pretty much anything that you need help with, right? 
And so normally we sell the SEO Pro bundle for about $8,258. If you go on the website, that's how much it is right now. And we're going to throw that in as well. So what you're going to get is you're going to get one year's access to Shine Ranker for $750. You're going to get S the SEO Leads Unlimited course for $497. You're going to get the SEO Leads Unlimited access for $897. And you're going to get the SEO Pro bundle uh, that's $8,258 for a total combined value of $10,402 today just for $297. Again, another person, Lyndon here, you can see says, ShineRanker makes it so easy to audit websites and has given me the confidence to offer more SEO services to my clients. So just tons and tons of people that are loving this tool. When you get in right now, uh, for the first $297, you're going to get access to everything that I just showed you here, okay? So if you're ready, let me know if you'd like access to all of this and I'll open it up. Um, again, I'm gonna drop the link right now, but I just want you to make sure you guys are ready to go to the link because I know a lot of people are going to want the special deal. Basically, you can grab everything now just by going to chasefinder.com forward slash pro. Take action fast because this is an offer that's gonna end very soon. Um, basically, again, uh, let me just show you what you get once you log in. So once you log in, the way this works is you're gonna get access to all of these different courses in here, right? So you can start get you can get started today. You just basically click through the different videos. We got the beginner to advance, we got the national SEO course, got the SEO university classes tons of things that you can get started with today. You'll also get a code that when you register on ShineRanker, um, you basically just enter the code and uh, you'll be able to get access into the tool for the year. Do we have any questions so far? So we can change the title of any website. Does ShineRanker show you how? ShineRanker doesn't change the titles for you. The way it works is you um, basically look up keywords that you wanna show up for and it'll tell you how many people actually have those keywords in their title. Does that make sense? And then if there's low websites with this in their titles, then what you can do is you can actually, um, you can change your title and generally you'll be able to rank pretty quickly with that. Works only for the US and in English. No, it actually has, uh, so in, in the uh, filtering actually, there's uh, different languages and different locations. So it works with any language and it works with any location. Um, so we do have some people getting into the deal right now, which is awesome. Owen, congrats. Awesome. Uh, where is the link? Okay. So it, again, it is chaserunner.com forward slash pro. If you want to get access to everything, but again, it is only for the first 25 people. Do you offer white labeling? No, but we have some people that we work with that, um, we talk about in the courses that you can, you can white label with. How much time do you spend? to send those emails for website errors, any tool that we can use. So that's actually in the courses. So in the unlimited leads course, um, that's kind of how it works is you, uh, you take the course, we'll show you how to set up the tools, how to start sending out and basically automating your messages so that you're contacting like thousands of businesses every day. Okay, lots of people coming in here. David just got access. We got, uh, looks like Vince and Okay, lots of people are coming in here. So, so look, uh, you know, this is only available to 25 people. At least the bonuses are. If you want to wait, you know, that's fine too. But I would get in here if you are interested in getting the bonuses. Will there be a replay? Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure there's a replay. When is the unlimited leads course available? It's already available. So when you get in here, you'll get instant access. You can start sending off the contact forms right away. And we have unlimited support, right? So that's the cool thing about this, by the way, is that when you um, get access to this, like like I was telling you earlier, you get access to the elites group, right? And um, basically you can tag me or Rena, uh, our support person, and get pretty much unlimited support with anything that you're working on. You know, your websites, your projects. Um, that's kind of why we built that for you is so that you don't have to feel like you're, you're you know, having to do this by yourself. Does in-title strategy apply on homepage or all page? It, it applies on all pages. So you would you would do that on pretty much every page. What about high competition or medium competition keywords? Can we rank using the in title thing? So in the tool, in the Shine Ranker tool, there is um, you know medium to hard difficulty that you could go for. I recommend just going for the easy keywords. I mean, there's so much opportunity with these easy keywords that it doesn't really make sense to um, go for the more difficult ones. I would honestly just go for the easy ones because there's just it's just so much op so much more opportunity, right? Um, okay. Maurice says, uh, 
Can you show how to check website tracking again? Well, and again, in the ShineRaker tool, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna run a website and it'll automatically check all the tracking for you. If you wanna do it manually, you'd have to right click on the website and then go and look for analytics on it. Uh, do you ask for payment before providing the website services? Yes, 100%. Um, does the in title strategy apply on home pages or website? Yeah, so it applies on all pages. Uh, what do you recommend the PA for a page being? So that's the cool thing about the all in title is you don't really even have to worry about having any authority. You can rank without having really any authority. If you find easy keywords with 1500 searches a month, is it still too hard to rank or should we search less monthly volume searches? Well, if, if there's low in title results, then generally you can rank, but I would go for you know low search rates, around four or 500 searches per month and then low in title results. That's what I would do. Can we uh, have to replace near me with location and keywords? Um, I would just do the location instead of near me, yeah. Chase, how can I contact you to discuss some of the services you are offering? So best thing to do is just get in our group, you know, get in the uh, SEO leads group, ask some questions in there. Um, I generally try to not, uh, we, we also have, yeah, I mean, I try, I try to keep all the questions in that group. It, it's easier for me to be able to answer people in there because I do get a lot of people asking questions, but. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to email us at support at chaserunner.com. And um, again, if you want to get the deal, uh, chaserunner.com forward slash pro. But thank you guys for stopping by and we'll see you soon. Until then, happy SEOing. We'll see you guys. Bye.